what Jack Health officials say they wouldn't confirm if anyone in that Mayfair neighborhood has Zika, but they had to check it out. Residents in the Mayfair subdivision in Tuscaloosa says health officials have been going door to door doing environmental inspections. I saw someone in my backyard and that seemed very strange. So naturally I opened the door, did the normal thing you do where you go, can I help you? <laughs> and so it seemed a little suspicious, but he very quickly calmed my nerves uh, and explained why he was there. And it was someone from the health department, the county health department. And they were looking for possible mosquito habitats because someone in the neighborhood had Zika. According to Dr. Scott Harris with the Alabama Department of Public Health, currently Alabama has 39 confirmed Zika cases, but no confirmed Zika cases in Tuscaloosa County. That all of those are travel associated cases. Those are people who left the country and went somewhere and got Zika and then came back here and were diagnosed. They did not catch it here. Harris says when there is a concern, they must take it seriously. So any citizen that contacts the health department and is concerned about uh, for example, you know, the neighbor's pool next door is neglected and is breeding mosquitoes or if they have, you know, a, a drainage problem in their neighborhood because the, uh, the ditch is overgrown and there's standing water and, and they're generating mosquitoes. Harris says this time of year mosquito activity is less than it was just a few weeks ago, especially during a cold snap. But that's not the case during these spring months. We have a lot of mosquitoes around here. We try to keep that sort of thing minimized and not have any standing water and be careful about where we place things. So we, we're careful. Now, health officials say the mosquito that carries Zika can breed in any small amount of water. Reporting live from the newsroom, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.